In this video, we are going to be looking at the range validator control. Uh, this control is used to check whether a user has typed in a value that falls between a range of values. So there are five properties that you must set in order to use this control. Uh, you should set the control to validate, which is a must. You must also always set uh, the control to validate to know which control is it is uh, the uh, range validator is checking. It also needs to check the minimum value that must be typed into the uh, input field. That user must enter into the input field and the maximum value. So that's the maximum value that you want the user to type. The text, which is the error message, and the type of value that you are checking. So you can uh, also check, to, you know, say, state the type of uh, the type of uh, value that you want to be checking. So there are five types. Uh, of you can check there are five times or oh, there are five inbuilt types inbuilt types that you can check for there are five inbuilt types uh, that you can that you can check uh, and this includes the integer so, so you can use it to check if a number is an old number the double the double is any decimal number you can use it to check date uh, you can use it so you can check between two dates if uh, uh, you want to make sure that user enters um, a number not less than three years or number not more than five years, you can use this uh, to check if a user is typing a string and you can use it to check for currency. So uh, now let's go to the video we do now to validate our form to make sure that user uh, doesn't enter a value between 100 and 500. So if uh, we want to make sure that the user has only typed a number between 100 and 500. So I've created this simple form and I've added a range validator. So the first thing you want to uh, uh, do is to state the control to validate. This is the most important one. So there's only one text box. So we're going to choose that text box. Then we want to customize the text on it, which is the error message. So uh, please um, enter number between 100 and 500 so very straightforward error message and uh, we want to set the minimum and the maximum value so the maximum value or so I said enter the number between 100 and 500 so I could mean inclusive or exclusive so in this time I mean uh, exclusive so uh, that would be the maximum value that we expect is 499 and the minimum value that we expect is 101 because we want a number between 100 and 500 exclusive so I hope that makes sense if I am talking the right stuff so yeah you can also use the type to make sure that you're checking for a type so in this case we'll be checking for integer so that means our whole number so now let's um, run the application so those are the uh, the properties that you need to configure for a range validator. So we're on the website now and uh, we try to enter um, 670. Let's click on submit. We say it tells us that we need a number between 100 and 500. So let's input 95 as well. So 95, still the same error. But if we enter 105, which falls within the range, we should get. Uh, the website to so if we enter 499 which is the maximum value we should also get no errors so this is how you use the now these are all simple examples but uh, I expect you to you know go out there and you know try something crazy like you know try and see how things work uh, so you should try and do maybe a number date so you can see if a user is entering a number which is less than our a date value between now and uh, between maybe two years ago and now so you know just do something you know very creative and if you have any problem just leave me a comment or ask me a question thank you